What's up guys, Boris here coming to you guys with another team building guide. Now, this time, since we've done every single legend, I want to start branching out into non-legend teams. Uh, potentially, it can make, maybe have a legend or two on them, but I really want to do teams that uh, a lot of people overlook, you know, because they don't really have to do too much with legends. So, uh, the first one here that we're going to be doing is one of my favorite ones, I think. Um, this really highlights the power of 3D2 Isanji. In my opinion, he is up there almost legend level in terms of what he can clear. He's pretty crazy. He can clear a lot of stuff as a captain. Um, today I'm going to show you guys a couple of different things you guys can use to, uh, you know, to potentially uh, run them. Now, like always, I want to go ahead and start with the captain ability and special of Sanji. So, uh, here we go. Sanji. The reason he's good is here. Boost the attack of powerhouse units by 2.25 and their HP by 1.5. So you get a 1.5 HP boost. Recovers two times the character's recovery in HP at the start of each, at the end of each turn. So, um, recovers H, um, uh, recovery, or recovers HP in terms of recovery. Uh, recover, I wonder if it's his recovery, I don't know whose recovery it is. I assume it's, it's based on his. So, 200, uh, times two, again, about 400 back. And then, um, the other Sanji, you know, they're the same. So you get, you get two times the heal. And then on top of that, his special is insane. Uh, you know, obviously does damage and then boost the attack of powerhouse by two times at, at uh, you know, that level, I think level two or level three, the highest level, so. Yeah, we'll talk about Rob Luchy friends in a second here. So, uh, again, crazy, crazy um, ability once you start, once you notice, like, look, with the white beard chip, you get th uh, 51 uh, K HP. Crazy, right? Um, and you can even use the burning white beard ship right now to, for that extra 20% uh, damage. Now, because you have 50k, go ahead and throw Marco on there. He is a powerhouse unit or, um, you know, tough unit, whatever you want to call it. Heals all, heals all the way back up. So, you, you know, you can stall all the way down to, um, you know, 100 HP and then heal back up. Really cool for training forest. Um, obviously, if you have Legend Marco, uh, if you have the Legend Marco, definitely go ahead and use him. But, uh... But yeah, I don't know. I, again, this is, I want to try to keep it more like non-legend if I can. So definitely try to do that. And uh, next up here is Kuma. Kuma is another one of those amazing. Just came out on global. Uh, this guy is a beast. Uh, he changes pretty much everything that's not a color orb <laughs> almost into a matching orb. So really crazy you know for, against certain bosses or against certain uh, you know areas of, of training forest and on top of that he amplifies orb boost by 1.75 for you for one turn so you get an orb boost combine it with the Sanji uh, damage and you do a lot of damage right there uh, next up is Pika now uh, Pika another really good powerhouse unit 20% damage again combine that with the burning white beard ship or just by itself it's really good and then again changes empty orbs to uh, and bad or bad orbs to matching so two orb manipulators there uh, you can pick from. And then Kid is not a tough unit. So you might be saying, why is he there? He's not a tough unit. But this is Colosseum Kid. The reason it's there is primarily because he empties all your orbs. Um, and if you empty all your orbs, then you can use Pika or Kuma. And all of a sudden, you have matching orbs again. So all, all your tough units get matching orbs. Actually, I think all your units get matching orbs with uh, these guys. So Pretty crazy. Um, other units that you can use, man, are Nightmare Luffy. Really awesome, uh, just like how much the HP goes up by. Almost 60, we're almost hitting 60k without recovery cotton candy or HP cotton candy. And um, Nightmare Luffy, he will delay. He's a delayer, really strong unit, deals damage, really awesome unit. Highly recommend uh, trying to use him. And of course, like someone said in the chat, um, you can do a Rob Lucci friend captain actually. Give me a second. Rob Lucci. Hey, he's a Rob Lucci friend captain as well if you want to for that. Uh, you lose HP, you lose that on about 20k, but you gain that uh, ability uh, for the special to, you know, guarantee, not guarantee, but it gives you a good chance of matching orbs. And, uh, you know, when they do have matching orbs, times three. Combine that with the Rocket Man, you lose more HP, but you get more uh, consistency because the Rocket Man will heal about 900 per turn. Um, the Sanji will heal every turn. Then if you have all auto heal sockets, you're looking at to recover a lot each single turn, man. But again, I probably recommend, uh, like I said, uh, sticking with Sanji, double Sanji, um, for the for now at least. Um, I mean, if you don't have Rob Lucci, it's also a really good, uh, really good team as well. Remember, you're healing one Sanji, two Sanjis, auto heal sockets. 
you're looking at a lot of damage uh, that you're healing each turn. <laughs> it's pretty insane. Uh, and then, like I said, on top of that, you have Marco to heal you all the way back up. Um, so pretty crazy. Now, uh, here's another team that he wants me to try. By the way, guys, if you're looking to do this with a training forest, and you have Elizabello, <laughs> man, this team this is crazy because, again, you can just stall out, and then Elizabello um, ends up dealing 500 times his attack to all enemies after... Uh, 20 turns, uh, actually 40 turns. So if you charge his special up for 40 turns, you can deal 500 times this character's damage, which is insane. So I'm talking like close to a million damage to everyone. Uh, that maybe if you have attack on candy or something on it. Really cool. And uh, let me see. Someone said try a different team here. So Kuma, Kumidori, Takayaki, Hachigan, and Raid Kizaru. All right, so let's look up Kizaru. Is he not powerhouse? Is he? Ah. What else? Uh, Hachi. What does he do? Cuts HP of each enemy by eight percent. Boost attack against enemy with increased defense. Okay, so I could definitely do a lot of damage there. And um, oh, I didn't show the damage earlier. Uh, and then uh, Kumidori. Which Kumidori though? Kuma Dori. Uh, I'm assuming this one. Since so orbs lost three times, lock all the orbs for one turn. Um, it's Coliseum Ohm instead of Kid. Let's Coliseum Ohm, dude. Let's look here. Change all orbs, including block orbs, to bad matching. Oh, wow, that does combo. Wow, that's even better. Yeah, you're right. So, Kid, we were, we were using him to empty our orbs, but he will actually swap all orbs, including block orbs, to badly matching orbs. Yo, that is hype. That's pretty hype right there. So, use him to change to bad, badly matching orbs. And then, um, not Kuma, but um, Pika, I think, will change them to positive orbs. So, really cool combo. Strength, okay. Let's go back to this team here that he was saying. Um, I don't know why he has Kizaru here, but... Um, yeah. So I look at the damage. Alright, let's put the special Sanji. Stage 2. I think it's 3 stages. No, it's only 2 stages. Alright, stage 2. Kuma. Hachigan. Kazaru. So yeah, just look at that damage right there. Yeah, and of course this is um if uh, against en enemies with uh, increased defense. So oh yes, three. It's not letting me do three. Yeah, activate in stage one. Move to stage two. Move on to the next one. Disable and re-enable. Yeah, it's only giving me two. Huh? Let me try the bottom one, I guess. Yeah, now it's only giving me two. There, I don't know. Oh, Kazaru has two, yeah. Kazaru has three, actually. Oh no, Kazaru is not. It's only on and off. Yeah, Kazaru only has one apparently, and I don't know why Kazaru's in here. He's not a he's not a powerhouse unit, but he does boost the chain, so maybe that's why. Yeah, not so good. But yeah, I mean overall, man, let's just go back to the original team. Actually, yeah, putting in Ohm, this seems way better. Uh, let's see, Marco and uh, Pika. Again, uh, so yeah, level two and Tyrant Kuma. You're looking at a lot of a lot of damage, man. Just like this might not look like a lot, but it's you're not risking anything, right? You can do this and then still attack and stuff like 50k HP left over. So really, co really cool team in my opinion. Um, definitely recommend trying out three twice on as a captain. If you think if you're out of stuff to run, or maybe you don't have any legends, or maybe you, some of the legends you have aren't aren't cutting it for you, definitely I would recommend maybe trying out this team. Could definitely uh, see a lot of use, and like I said, just very resilient, a lot of HP, heal back. If you have Legend Marco, even better, you know, especially since it has more sockets and stuff. Two turn orb boost, you can do it over two turns. So, so yeah. Uh, and of course, you can use King Elizabella. Don't forget, you get the 20% HP cut. You got a lot of cool stuff, so. 
So yeah, that's gonna do it for 3 2 I saw you guys wanted to let you guys know about this team. Very, very good team. And uh, I'll see you guys later in the next video. Peace.